everyone, this is Julie Murphy. I know we all have our own way of keeping track of where we put our files on our computers, but I wanna show you my system for how I keep track of them. I'm on an embroidery site right now. This is actually uh, Embroidery Library. I'm actually going to unzip them and put them into a folder on my computer. So let's get started. So I've got the, the screen open with the designs and now I'm going to go down to this little symbol down here which on a Windows computer um, it just is the four little squares in the lower left hand corner on my machine. They might be somewhere else on your machine. Once we do that we're going to click on it and for my system I'm going to hit this PC and I know that I have everything on my internal disk C. So once I have that, then I will open, I'll do the down arrow to it right here. And then I'm actually gonna go to where it says embroidery files. So I set up a folder here on my computer called embroidery files. If you don't know how to do that, all you do is if you're on the local disk, you can right click on your mouse and then just go down and say new and open a new folder but I don't need to do that. So let's go ahead and go to my folder. Now within the folder, I have made all these subfolders. And what they correspond to is different design sites that I go to in purchasing my designs. So because these are Embroidery Library, I'm actually going to click on Embroidery Library. And within my Embroidery Library file, I have more folders and I've divided them up into animals, baby, various Christmas folders. It really has to do with the type of design that I've purchased and where I want to put it. So if I had was downloading Snowman, I would go into the Snowman folder. For this one, because I have a uh, folder called Retro Trucks, let me go down to that, it's right here. And these are the Retro Trucks that I have downloaded. So let's say this truck right here. I can say unzip and you'll see that it put a file down here at the bottom of my screen. All I'm going to do to that file is I'm going to hold my left click button on my mouse down and literally drop it, drop it over into my retro truck. There is the new file right here. and You can see that this is called M29813. And so what I do now is I right click on that M29813 and I say rename and it highlights it in blue and now I can call it exactly what this design is called which is which is Flower Shop Retro Truck Medley. So there it is. I've just renamed it Flower Truck. So now let's go to this bird's nest. So let's see, I have a folder in here. I could put it in the bird folder. I have an Easter spring folder. I think I'm actually gonna put it in my bird folder. You can put it in both places if you like. So there is that, and these are all my files that I've put in there. So now we're gonna do unzipped. That's the new one. Drag it over, and there it is right here. You can see that it's M29816. So now I'm going to rename it. So then the final one is this flower. So I will go to my flower folder and I will unzip this one, drag it over. And so now I have all three of these. I can close out my download area. And then what I do is I always go back in and I print my receipt with the images. And that's how I organize my files on my computer. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching.